This has become an all too common sight along city streets in California. On any given night, there are more than 173,000 people experiencing homelessness, according to the latest count. A growth of 22,000 people over the last three years, despite major spending to try to reduce homelessness. The last session was about $13 billion total um, in the budget. That Those dollars are going to, to cities literally for projects like uh, Project Home Key, Project Room Key, to battle homelessness. Um, but of course, we're getting from our constituents um, a lot of feedback um, uh, that they're not seeing it. Not seeing it make a difference. That's why Democratic Senator Dave Cortese is asking the Joint Legislative Audit Committee to authorize an audit of public spending on homelessness. I think the audit will shed some light on whether or not the investments we're making are getting to where they need to go. And if they're not, it'll allow us to make a course correction. It's an issue Democrats and Republicans seem to agree on. I think homelessness is the most important, urgent issue facing the state of California. Republican Senator Roger Nilo signed on to the bipartisan audit request, an effort to answer a long list of pressing questions on the issue. The most important one of which is how many people have ended up in permanent housing. We need to know what the money uh, has accomplished. The review would focus on state spending and two municipalities, San Jose in Senator Cortese's district and one the state auditor would choose. And we have a humanitarian problem first and foremost, but we also have a problem now of, of basically cesspools uh, in our city um, that uh, people are, are trying to live in, in weather like this, um, in outdoor encampments that, that just don't cut it. In Sacramento, Liz Amy Tree, KCRA 3 News. And the audit request will be heard in the Joint Legislative Audit Committee tomorrow morning. That's 9 o'clock at the Capitol. If an audit is authorized, the senator hopes to have the information from that by September.